Welcome, welcome back to my kitchen. What you see here is a wild game meat. Why do we cook wild game meat, you will ask? This is because wild game meat have health benefits when compared to meat from domesticated or farm-raised animals. Example of a wild game meat would be venison, bison, rabbit, and elk. The fact that wild game animals eat their natural diets and are very active in the wild contributes to the lower fat content of the meat. Additionally, eating greens in the wild contributes to a lower content of pro-inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids and a higher content of anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acids. Furthermore, wild game meat is a good source of protein and minerals such as iron and zinc. So guys, for our wild meat game today, I will be making this delicious rabbit soup. If you want to see and know why and how we prepare rabbits, keep watching guys. If this is your first time visiting my, visiting my channel, you are welcome. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. When you subscribe, kindly hit the post notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. And to my return subscribers, thank you so much. Keep watching guys. So guys, here is the rabbit we are going to be preparing today, okay? Viewer discretion, guys. So after killing the rabbit, you want to go ahead and burn out the, the hair from the skin, okay? This is going to further enhance the flavor of the rabbit. You understand? It's going to make it so palatable. The smell from the smoke mixed with the meat. Oh my guys, you don't want to miss this for anything. Here are some reasons why you should switch from eating cow, goat, chicken, and all those domesticated animals. I will advise everyone under the sound of my voice to start eating rabbits, okay? Rabbit is very, 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 very nutritious, okay? It is one of the best white meats available on the market today. So, guys, after burning it, you want to go ahead and clean it thoroughly, okay? I am using my scotch uh, scraper, the one I use for the pot, but this is brown new, okay? You want to wash it thoroughly under running water remove all the burnt areas then you want to go ahead and cut it into partitions sizes of your choice okay this rabbit meat has a high percentage of easily digestible protein unlike cow when you eat rabbit it won't leave you with a big stomach because it will be digested in no time okay Rabbit contains the least amount of fat among all the other available meats. As you can see, there is no fat in rabbit. All its meat is made of protein. Okay? Yes. Rabbit meat contains less calorie value than other meats. So you can eat it if you are on a zero calorie diet. Just eat as much of rabbit as you want, okay? Rabbit meat is also cholesterol free and therefore heart patient friendly, okay? Here are the spices I will be using to cook my rabbit meat. I will just toast them under low heat. So for the spices, I've got garlic, ginger, I've got black pepper, some chili, Okay, and I'm also using my coconut oil. You all know the benefits of coconut oil. It's not like the other oils. You can substitute this with avocado oil. Okay, 
just those two oils good i told you that it is almost cholesterol free so if you've been diagnosed with cholesterol or you don't you want to reduce the cholesterol level in your blood go ahead and consume rabbit meat So this means that this meat has more calcium and phosphorus than any other meats. Okay? Yes. The ratio the ratio of meat to bone is high, meaning there is more edible meat on the carcass than even a chicken. So guys, like you see me do here, I was just toasting my 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 onions, I use the, the red and the white onions, okay? I want to keep it as healthy as possible. I don't want to interfere with the healthiness of this rabbit meat. I am just frying my tomato onions, okay? Then, remember the ingredients which I was toasting earlier? I did blend them using my manual blending stone. But you can go ahead and use your blender. I blended that. I also chopped some paprika and some uh, bell, red bell peppers, okay? Which you can see me adding now in my pot. I'm going to be adding also my spices which I have blended. I'm going to be adding in some water, okay? You have to add enough water because the meat is a little bit tougher to cook than chicken, okay? So keep watching, guys. I told you the ratio of meat to bone is high, meaning there is more edible meat on the carcass than even a chicken. Rabbit meat with the many health benefits does not have a strong flavor. Okay? Yes. And it is comparable to chicken but not identical. When you eat the meat, it, it, you will think you are eating chicken but it's a little bit different. It's more tastier, more flavorful. It's everything you can think of. So, if you have been keeping rabbit as a pet, <laughs> my friend, and you are busy buying uh, vitamins in bottles from the shop, whereas you have your little bunny, man, go ahead and devour that, okay? <laughs> yeah, also, I'm adding some dried oregano, okay? Thank you so much. If you have been watching up to now and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay? And do not forget to also hit the post notification bell. So you get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you. Do you remember when I told you that this was a wild game meat? Yes. The reason why you must eat them also is because, like I told you earlier, they have a lower fat content as animals tend to be more active in the wild. Additionally, wild game eats a natural diet as opposed to grain or corn, which is often fed to domesticated animals, contributing to an increased fat content of non-game meats. Look at that, guys. Yeah, I am just making sure that the seasoning touches every part of the rabbits. Okay? Yes. Did you know that the feeding of corn and grain to farm animals not only increases the total fat content, but also the omega-6 fatty acid content?
Omega-6 fatty acids increase markers of inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation is associated with health conditions including obesity, diabetes, cancer, and rheumatoid and arthritis. While animals eat more grass, green leaves, and plants than their domesticated counterparts, which leads to leaner meat with lower omega-6 fatty acid contents. Mmm, this smells wonderful, guys. This smells wonderful. So you want to go ahead and taste it and see if everything is okay. Then you can add in any leafy green of your choice. Yeah, I am adding in some chopped cilantro. You can add parsley. You can add any leafy green of your choice, okay? So, guys, that is basically all about it. I will advise you to eat more rabbit meat, okay? If you do not mind. Rabbit meat is nutrient-dense. It is really a tremendous protein and it is healthy it is delicious it is also climate friendly rabbit meat is lean similar to chicken and goes well in stews soups and casseroles it's significantly leaner and higher in protein compared to other meats making it ideal for dieters and healthy eaters alike due to its low fat content Rabbit meat can make it easier to reduce your calorie intake without giving up flavor. It is just as nutritious as fish and higher in protein than any cuts of beef. So after watching this video, I will be hoping that you will switch from eating other meat to rabbit meat, okay? So guys, that will be all from me today guys. Comment down below, have you ever eaten rabbit meat before? What are your thoughts about eating rabbits? <laughs> Let me hear down below the comment section. Okay guys, until next time when I come again with another yummy recipe, I want you all to stay safe, stay healthy, and bye-bye. Yeah.